In this video, I'm going to photograph my panther mantis. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then click the subscribe button so you don't miss any free content. Now in this video, I'm going to photograph my panther mantis. So he's here, he's on this little stick. And he's just calming down because I got him out of his uh, tub and he's a little bit, hey, freedom. So he's got to calm down a little bit. And for this one, I'm going to do the same as we did with the uh, the orchid mantis. I'm going to shoot with a black background. But uh, that's uh, that's my idea at the moment. So for this setup, we're using the Canon 650D. The Canon 100mm f2.8 L IS macro lens. I have the Yongno YN24EX on here. This is set up out the box and I have Jason Cannon's diffuser set on here. So first of all, I need to set the camera up. So for this one now, it's it's not so much macro, it's more close-up photography. So we won't be at one-to-one -one unless I want to go for a headshot. We'll give that a go. But uh, to start with, I'm going to use one two hundredth of a second on my shutter speed, F8. You know what? No, let's go. Let's go F13. Let's push the limits a little bit, okay? And I'm going to do ISO 100. Now for my flash, again, you've probably seen me do this before if you've been on my channel. I'm going to move this flash head all the way up to the top. Okay, like that. This flash head, I'm going to move down to the side. So we've got one coming down overhead, one coming in from the side. And on my ratio, I'm going to select 1 8th power on this flash here. So you have the main flash here and then we've got a fill flash. So that's the setup. Ideally, we'll hope that, that our panther mantis is gonna play. Now I have him on my lazy Susan, so I can spin him around quite easily. And we have our specimen holder, okay? All this stuff is in the link below if you wanna get yourself a specimen holder or a lazy Susan. So all I'm gonna do is spin him around until I get a good profile shot of him. And then again, the hat has to come around. He's um, I'd say he's about almost an inch long, so I think we can get away with using autofocus. Now the problem I got is I haven't got many autofocus points on here. I've got nine, which is very low compared to today's standards. But we'll go with it. Okay, I want him further up. Oh, actually, he's, he's just turned round. That might be a good opportunity to get him again. So that's a little bit bright. I'm going to turn down my flash exposure compensation to minus one. I'll take another shot. Okay. We've got a wide shot of him. Let's get a close-up shot of his head if we can. I'm just going to spin him around a little bit. Again, I'm going to change my autofocus point and put it in the middle. We will recompose in the edit afterwards. I'm also going to turn off automatic focus. That's why I can't use a tripod. It keeps running up and down here, and I want to get a profile shot of his head, which means if he's facing the way he's now, which is down, I have to get all the way down here, and a tripod just isn't feasible to use in this situation. Very hard to get a shot of him actually facing me. It's always facing away. And it could be because of the lights on the uh, the twin macro flash. As always with these shoots, you've got to be patient because you can't really force the uh, subject into a position that you want it. You've got to really just be patient and wait for them to get to the pace that you want them to be. But um, this guy, very hard to spot sometimes on this piece of wood. So he's gone right up to the top now. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of him up there. 
that's the image I was looking for. So let's get a close-up shot of his head. I'm going to go to one-to-one -to -one on my focus. I'm turning off the uh, automatic focus. I'm going to look down on him. I want to get a bit closer. So we've got two choices. We can put a macro extension tube on or we can use the Rhinox. Um, since we've only just reviewed the Rhinox, I'm going to use that. So let's get this one off. Now remember, like I said in my review, when we use the Rhinox on a macro lens, you're cutting your working distance. So because we've cut our working distance now, we need to just push these in a little bit. Okay, just like that. They're still the same settings, just push them in a little bit. Turn him around. I want a little bit more depth of field. So I'm going to push my f-stop up to f18. Now on the crop sensor, it's going to be a little bit soft. If you've got a full frame camera, you can use f18 perfectly okay. Oh, I'm sweating. But well, there you go. That's our Panfermantis. I like the uh, the wide shot and I also like the head shot. Hope you enjoyed this video and I want to thank you for getting to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. Possibly subscribe if you haven't done already and as always, I'll see you on the next video.